Hey guys, it's Patricia from Tarantula Heaven and author of The Ultimate Guide to Tarantulas. And this is our second video on the channel. Um, something that I had done after I made the first video is ask my community on Tumblr what kind of videos they would like to see. And something really interesting came up, uh, the topic of enrichment. And I had never heard of this topic as far as tarantulas go. I knew it was something that was um, used for fish and maybe other animals, but not tarantulas. So I thought that would be a really good topic for um, discussion for this video. Um, so of course, you know, when you get a tarantula, there's the obvious things like, you know, getting the right substrate, for example, coconut fiber is really um, popular and um, well liked by tarantulas. And I usually don't hear many complaints about that. And there's also things like, you know, providing your tarantula a hide or somewhere that they can like have a little secret dark place. Uh, water dish, stuff like that. If you have a um, tree dwelling spider, you know, you want to give it branches or something to climb. And um, as far as safety, usually you want to provide these animals with, um, you know, you could definitely use live plants. You just need to make sure that um, aside from them being a little bit harder to take care of and tank maintenance, there's also a few issues with pesticides and introducing parasites into your tarantula's tank. So sometimes it can be safer to go with um, fake plant decor, and you can definitely find a lot of those um, choices on Amazon, or um, you can go to a regular pet store for that too. Um, and they're pretty cheap too, so sometimes it's better to just be safe. Um, but as far as some other things, um, I, you know, I kind of like to experiment. I get a lot of comments about things that I've put in Spidey's tank, for example. And uh, I've had a few different things in there. Um, right now, one of the most constant things that she's had in her tank are her little ping pong ball and her bottle cap. Um, in the past, I've put things like a seashell in there. Um, she did have a spider, a, a toy spider in there at one point. Right now, she has a pink rubber bunny in there. Um, she also had a teacup. Uh, so I like to kind of experiment and see what she does um, as far as enrichment for her and making, I guess, keeping her tank interesting. I mean, we know so little about tarantulas and how they think and how they um, react to certain things. So I kind of like to do my own controlled experiments. And sometimes the, the results have been kind of interesting. Um, a lot of times she will leave these um, objects alone for the most part. Uh, for example, she will ignore her ping pong ball or her bottle cap for months on end and then, you know, maybe she'll have a week where she's touching it all the time, she's moving it around the tank. Uh, in the past she has uh, turned her bottle cap over and rolled it across the tank. Um, same with the ball. The ball tends to migrate uh, to different parts of the tank sometimes when she's feeling more active. There was one time when I even caught her like planking on top of the tank and I'll leave a picture, I mean, uh, on top of the ball and I'll leave a picture of that and it was really funny and very surprising. Um, in the past she's also taken the bottle cap, turned it over and stacked the ball on top of it so she could climb on top of it. Uh, so you just never know what they're actually going to do and it's really fun to watch when they actually do interact. But I will say that for the most part Spidey leaves these things alone. When she does interact with them it's always really interesting. Um, I don't know what's going on in her little spider brain at all. I don't think any of us do. And there's still a lot of studying to be done. So as far as tarantula enrichment, I don't think it hurts, you know, like to put some nice things in their tank for them. Maybe they leave them alone. Maybe they hate them. Uh, maybe they love them. Maybe they mess around with them all the time. You just don't know until you try. And because of the things that I've seen Spidey do, I think it's definitely worth trying. I would just caution um, to keep these objects safe. You don't want to put any objects with um, sharp corners or anything that they could get hurt on, for example, like fabric. Um, they can get their little spider claws like stuck in there, um, so you don't want to do that. You also want to make sure that they're clean, no, um, no chemicals are on them, and if there's any sharp edges you want to sand them down, for example. Um, Spidey does have a little bottle cap that I, that I, you know, just tore off of a bottle and I filed those edges down so that, um, you know, nothing can happen to her. So you just want to be safe about what you give them. But, um, I mean, like I said, I've seen some really cool stuff happen. Um, when Spidey had a teacup, for example, uh, she ignored the teacup for months, and then one day, randomly, she decided to spend hours filling it with dirt, um, like almost all the way up to the top. And it was really cool, and I didn't know what she was doing, but um, it actually got, the story got better, because what happened was she actually ended up, like, 
filling it with dirt and then laying in it. So she like made a little bed for herself. And like, that was really adorable. Um, <laughs> and I, I was so happy to get pictures of that. She doesn't, she didn't do that for several more months. So I ended up taking the teacup out of her tank and, um, you know, replacing it with a fake spider, um, which she tried to bury and didn't really interact with it otherwise, aside from trying to, um, cover it with dirt. Um, so just experiment and see, you know, I mean, you gotta, you gotta think like they're in the tank all the time. And even though most tarantulas live very boring lives and just like to sit still, um, it's nice to give them something to interact with, um, and kind of like spice things up. But you do want to make sure that after you introduce something to the tank to that you pay attention to their behavior towards the object. Um, there's been times where, you know, I've put something in Spidey's tank and I, I notice maybe she's getting a little bit stressed out. Um, she's not really liking it. It's throwing off, I guess, the the aura in her tank or the feng shui. Um, so, you know, I take it out. Or, you know, if, if something is a danger to her, um, for example, I realized that she was climbing her seashell to try to get on the top of her tank, um, I took that out. So you got to just be careful. But, you know, there's no harm in introducing a safe object that, you know, isn't going to stress them out too much, um, isn't bothering them, and then just watching and see what happens. I think that, you know, we know so little about these creatures that most of us are just trying to experiment anyway, and we can use this information to learn more about them and in the hobby. So, you know, most discoveries are made by tarantula keepers and people who are just trying to figure things out. So um, I totally encourage it. You know, some people think it's pointless. I certainly don't because I've, I've seen enough... Um, weird things happen with Spidey that I think that um, it's totally fine to do and I, I do think you will see value in it um, even if it's just like watching a really weird tarantula move I don't know <laughs> um, but anyway that's really all I have to say about that um, I think tarantula enrichment is really cool and should be encouraged in the hobby as long as it's done in a safe way and that is all for this video um, if you guys liked it, please subscribe or give it a thumbs up. And please also let me know what your ideas or thoughts on tarantula enrichment are and what kind of fun things have you tried with your tarantula or what weird things have you seen your spider do. Because I see Spidey doing weird stuff all the time. And um, I love sharing it. And I like that you guys like me sharing it. So um, I hope to hear from you. And if you have any more ideas for new videos, um, please let me know. And if not, I will see you till next time. Bye.